Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and today's class is Introduction to the Deep Web. <sighs> okay, that was a little bit me melodramatic there, but I do feel that the melodrama is necessary because so many of you folks think that the Deep Web is something very, very, very impressive and scary and cool. They thought that there is a, a world wide web that we all know about, and then that there is a Deep Web that is hidden away in the dark recesses of the internet seems really cool and really amazing and really sexy and awesome, doesn't it? And so I keep getting questions on my daily blob show about what is the deep web? And I get so tired of answering the same question time and time and time and time again, I decided to do this class for you guys on introduction to the deep web so that you understand what the deep web is and why, really, truly, it's not nearly as cool as all you folks think it is. I, I don't know why, you know, in technology, um, there are things that come and go, you know, in popular culture, there, there are concepts that get to be really sexy and cool for a while, and everybody is worried about it, and apparently right now, the deep web is one of those things. Everybody thinks, Wow, there's a deep web, there's a world wide web, and then underneath is the deep web. Well, the reality is, the true, honest to golly, honest to spaghetti monster reality is, is all the deep web is, is it's web pages that are not indexed by search engines. So when you go to Google and you type in a search query, all the normal websites pop up uh, or have the ability to pop up in that organic search. So, you know, if you're searching for whatever it is, a website might pop up there. What the deep web is, is the deep web is all of the web pages that are out there on the internet that for whatever reason are not indexed by the search engines. So if you did a search, they would not show up in Google, they would not show up in Bing, they would not show up in Yahoo or AltaVista or whatever else. That is all the deep web is. The deep web are the web pages that are not indexed by search engines. Now the question is, the thing that you may be thinking, you might be, might be thinking, yeah, but Eli, but Eli, why are they not indexed by search engines, right? All web pages are indexed by search engines, so what are they trying to hide that they're not indexed by search engines? Well, in the modern era, you know, 2013 and so forth, many web pages are not indexed by uh search engines such as Google and Yahoo because they are behind login walls. So if you go to a site, let's say you go to a WordPress site or you go to some kind of community website and you have to log in, the only way to be able to access the content on that website is if you are in fact able to log in. Now all the search engines, they have these little algorithms that run around and they're called either spiders or robots. So these spiders or robots robots go out and they navigate the web. So basically, they kind of just let them loose and what happens is these spiders and robots, they go out, they catalog all the web pages that they can find, they catalog all the web pages that are linked to by other web pages, and then they just kind of follow that and go along and go and grab information and basically index all of these different web pages that are out there. Well, their issue is, imagine they're going along and they're indexing, 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 and they're about to index a website, but when they get to the website, it asks for a username and password. Well, that robot, that spider, can't get past because obviously it's not a real user, so it doesn't have a username and password. So websites, much of uh, websites such as Facebook, are considered deep web simply because they are not indexed by Google. There's a huge, huge, massive argument going on right now where Google says that they should be able to index more of Facebook than Facebook allows them to index. That's a whole big thing. But, 
But what you should understand is that there are simply a lot of pages within Facebook that cannot be indexed by Google or Bing or anybody else. Therefore, that would be considered the deep web. If you set up a community site and let's say you close it off so it's, it's private, only private members can access the information. So you set up a bulletin board, but then you don't want this to be public. You only want you know your fellow users to be able to access it. The same thing would be true when one of these spiders or robots from Google or Yahoo go to uh, to scan your web pages, they will be blocked by the username and password. So that's the first reason uh, why there is a lot of deep web web pages out there. Just simply, you need login credentials to get there. That's it. The other reason uh, that there are deep web web pages is you can actually ask through coding for the search engines to not index your web page for whatever reason. So there's something called the robots.txt file. If you put that into the root of your website, so basically the same place where your index.htm or html or whatever is, if you put in what's called a robots.txt file, within that file you can ask the search engines not to index your site. Now you're thinking, well, there you go, Eli, there you go. You're asking the search engines not to index your site. That means, that means you're doing something pretty nifty, neat, or cool, aren't you? Not necessarily so. You know, a lot of us, a lot of us are not overly worried about uh, putting information out onto the internet, but we don't want to overdo it, right? So let's say you have a club or you have an organization and you want to be able to put onto the web, uh, let's say the board members' names. So, so if other members need to get in contact with somebody or if somebody else needs to see a listing of who the board members are, you want to be able to put that on the web. And it's one of those things that... <clears throat> You know, you don't really care if the public sees it. On the other hand, you don't necessarily want this thing showing up in a Google search either. You know, if somebody goes to the web page, if somebody knows what the web page is, that's fine if they see it. If they don't know what the web page is, you don't want them to know about it. Well, then that's what you might put into robots.txt file to state that you don't want the search engines to index the pages because, again, you don't want it to show up in Google or Yahoo or Bing, so on and so forth. Again, this is not nefarious, this is not cool, this is not sexy. This may be the membership roster for your local Elks Club or Rotary Club or something like that. Again, essentially, um, we don't really care, really care, um, if it's public, you just would kind of prefer it's just not completely and utterly out there. So robots.txt files were used for a long time. You know, when you go back to websites that were built like 10 years ago, lots of people were putting up web pages and they simply didn't want them to be indexed by the likes of Google. And so they use this robots.txt file. Now the important thing to understand about the robots.txt file is it's only a suggestion for the web crawlers. So the spiders and the robots that Google and Yahoo and all that send out there. When they go to your website, they will look for a robots.txt file. If they read the robots.txt file, it tells them what you would prefer, that you prefer that the site not be indexed, but they can go ahead and index it regardless. This, this isn't like, when you use a robots.txt file, this isn't like a mandatory federal law or something. It's just kind of like, like a nicety. So those are the main reasons that we get what's called the deep web. So these are the websites that are not indexed by Google, Yahoo, any of these search engines. And again, it's generally because the Either there's some kind of login credential or there's the robots.txt file. So let's go over to the computer for a second just so you can see a couple of things and maybe maybe this will get a little bit clearer for you. So I just brought up this web page here. If you go to robots.txt.org, you can get a lot more information about the robots.txt file. And basically, again, all this file is, is you can just create this in Notepad. It's not HTML. It's not anything like that. It's just robots.txt. All you do is you put in this user agent colon star disallow colon slash. And basically what that says is it says to all those crawlers and robots, please, please do not index this website. And that's all you have to do. 
and then you too have a website on the deep web. Not only that, but even on things like WordPress. So EliTheComputerGuy.com is built on WordPress. If you go in here, you will see if you go down to settings, reading, there's actually a little checkbox, search engine visibility. You can actually discourage search engines from indexing this site. Again, it is up to the search engines to honor this request, but generally they do. So if I check off this box, it will tell the search engines, please do not index this site. So even though it's a full site, even though it's a big site, all of that basically will drop off of Google and Yahoo and Bing, so on and so forth. That's all you do uh, to create the deep web. Well, that's really all there is to it, right? Um, I don't know why people think it's amazing and cool and fancy. Again, I think it's just, I think it's simply one of those we have gotten so used to being able to use search engines to find anything on the internet. It seems that if you can't use a search engine to find information, then it must be, again, cool or nefarious or something like that. The reality is, you know, a lot of times, again, there, there's login credentials that block robots from searching. There's a robots.txt files that block uh, or that try to block search engines from indexing. And there's also really, really, really crappy code. Again, when you're thinking about the internet, a lot of you folks, a lot of you folks actually weren't even born when the internet, you know, popped out in 1992. What you, you may not realize is that there are a lot of websites still up and running that got coded a long, long, long time ago when we were all still trying to figure out what the hell we were supposed to be doing. So some of these deep web websites are just websites that were coded so horribly that even the robots don't know what to do with them. You know what I'm saying? But that is all the deep web is. The deep web is simply, simply web pages that are not indexed by Google or any of the other search engines for whatever reason. Well, that's it. So, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy. Today's class was Introduction to the Deep Web. As always, I enjoy teaching this class and look forward to seeing you at the next one.